Can we go all the way up to this hole? That's crazy. We fly right off into space with our Argentavis. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> we did go through the hole. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go after a... Hi. Hi how you doing? Uh, we're going to go after a beaver and a pooper, or three. Uh, so, I found this level 80 dodic, and I named it Cheese Ball, because it kind of looks like a ball of moldy cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and it just wandered right into camp and it was level 80 which is pretty decent level so i just grabbed it and tamed it so now we have a dodic and it gets like a crazy amount of stone uh so we got that done i was going to do that on camera with you guys but like i said i just wandered into camp and i wasn't ready to start the next episode um so uh, we grabbed it because it was a tame of opportunity let's see what else have i done i added a, a cooking pot here um, so that's going, and I added a couple more refiners, uh, just mostly to make more, um, whatchamacallit, charcoal. And then I uh, built a little porch out here, put in four large crop plots for the uh, main four crops, and a bunch of very noisy and irritating um, compost pits. Um, so that's why what we need the poop for. I even had to turn the sound effects down just a little bit, because uh, that's just a little too loud. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, uh, the plan for today. Let's go ahead and put, um, our trike back into the pin here. I also went, excuse me, I also went on a little bit of an adventure and grabbed some oil and pearls, uh, up in the snowbound. I have very high fortitude, by the way. I've got, um, 50, yeah, I've got 50 fortitude. So I got cold, but not, it wasn't an issue. Uh, I was just wearing hide armor. So let's grab our Argy here, and we're after Fiomias and Beavers. Not necessarily in that order. Uh, we did also adjust the taming settings. They they are now set to four. Um, I think I think it was on twenty before, <laughs> twenty times. So it's set to four times, which is you know definitely a lot more um, reasonable, I think. And um, we're probably going to go with that. I even talked stock about maybe bumping down to three, but if he wants to give it a four, I'm fine with that because it's. It was just, you know, we can't have tames that are standing up with one bite. That's just too OP. Uh, okay, so let's uh, eat this guy. Tough, tough hyena, Don, man. Did we, uh, did we eat it? Where did it go? Uh, it's right there, but my bird's not eating it. There we go. Okay, I was gonna. I, I started getting worried, like maybe we were gonna disconnect or something. Um. Oh, we got six levels too on the bird. Um. Let's see here. I. I want to get its stamina. Let's just get the stamina up to fifteen hundred, and then that's probably all we need for stamina. It's. It'll be fine. Um. The health is decent, so we're probably gonna just start pumping uh, melee damage. Uh. Weight is just. A little OP on the server with the stacking mod, <clears throat> um, and it is what it is. So, if it, if it was if it was my server, I would probably get a less powerful stacking mod. But it's not my server, so I'm just going to run with it and take advantage of the convenience of it and call it good. Okay, so Fiomias and Beavers. Uh, beavers are going to be that direction off to the west. Fiomias can be pretty much anywhere. Um, so we're going to just kind of grab whatever we find. It doesn't really matter to me, you know, what level it is or anything like that. Uh, you're kind of a cool looking RG or Anki. Level 60. Okay. Um, I found, uh, I, I ran into, I, I found one Avis when I was out in Snowbound, but I had no, you know, sweet veggie cakes, no possible way to tame it. I should have just killed it and got the mutton, but I didn't. Um. I, I was going to see if I could come back for it after I got the oil, but it was dead by the time I got back. Should have known better. The wolves got to it. Uh, but anyway, um, 
yeah, but I I had no way to tame it. But like I said, it probably would have been a good idea for me to get the button, but I didn't. So, okay. Anyway, let's uh start looking around for some Fiomias here, and uh, I've I've come across some really pretty Argies, but nothing of really good level. I did see a pretty nice looking one that was level 100 in the snowbound with no possible way of of taming it. You know, so it is what it is. So let's just do this. Let's just work our way towards the beavers. And if we see any Fiomias along the way, we'll nab them. And like I said, I don't I don't really care what level it is. It can be any level it wants to be. We just need it for pooping. That's all we need it for. Oh, you know what we should do too? Uh, we should read some explorer notes to get the buff on this bird. Eh, you know what, though? I might wait. I might leave those explorer notes until we come across a higher level bird. This bird's decent level, but I, I, I do want to get something a little higher. Uh, and preferably prettier, too, but mostly just higher. That's, that's the main thing. You guys are picking on this dodick here. It's a level 10. Okay. Where the hell are all the Fiomias? They're all over the place when you're not looking for them, right? I don't see any. All right. Let's take a stand break here. See, I don't know. I might, I might actually put a few more points of the stamina on the bird just so we don't have to stop so often. We'll see. Obviously, we're getting the beaver for wood. Um, beavers are, I th think, the best critter at gathering wood, but mammoths, I think, are the best critter for the weight reduction of wood, and they're also very good at gathering wood, too. What level are you? 70? Meh. Your lunch. Okay. So, yeah, the beavers hang out over here in this little uh, cove, I guess you'd call it, or whatever. And there's even some dams. We could potentially jack the stuff after we get the beavers. Uh, I killed one earlier that was really low level, but I didn't see anything super high level over here. So we, I don't know, we might, um, oh, I guess I need to get this on my hot bar. We might, if we don't find it a really good level, maybe I'll just kill all of them and then let them respawn with something better. I saw one go, uh, oh, there it is right there. That's a level 35. Yeah, that's not very good. Come here, buddy. We're definitely going to need to put some points in the melee on this bird. You're level 80 raptor? Well, it's not... That's better, but still... I saw a 145 raptor over here. Uh, uh, oh, did I kill it already? <laughs> I don't know if it's still here or not, but... It was a little further up, not quite down at the river. Um, okay, we'll we'll go with fifteen thousand stamina for now. Let's get some let's get some melee going on you. You're level thirty. Okay, so now the question is, are there any more beavers left before I jack that dam? Because they do kind of hurt. 
Uh, one way to tell is to jack the dam, and then they'll show up. But I'm not seeing any, so... Okay, let's park the bird here. And you're on passive. Just gonna look and see if I can see any in the water. No, I don't I don't think there's any around. Okay. Dump the wood, take the flowers, and 203 cementing paste. It's a beautiful thing. We'll take it. Didn't get any pearls, but I got a bunch of pearls up north, so we're good. Alright, well, the other place that I know of where beavers are is up at the the um, hidden hidden lagoon area, uh, which is kind of in the northeast part of the map. And I think you can find them along... There's an alpha over there. What the level it is. I think you can find them along the redwoods, too, along the river at some point. That's a level 50. We could probably do a level 50. Uh, oh, you know what? Especially with an explorer note. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get a nice little buff. And then we'll get some levels on this bird. Okay, so where's the thingy? It's right here. Okay, let's see what this is. Well... This seals it. Just when I thought I'd made some sense of the notes I took while visiting the painted sharks, I spotted the nail in the proverbial coffin. Roos. A whole herd of giant roos were just hopping about the countryside like they'd always been there. As much as I love roos, they just shouldn't be here. Period. They evolved in Oz and Oz only. 60 million years after the dinosaurs went extinct, among a bevy of other marsupials. If I know any genus, it's this one, and Prosoptodon should not exist here. This island isn't an ecosystem. It's a zoo. Nice. Uh, Prosoptodon, how interesting. I always call it a Procoptodon. So, um, again, for the story stuff, um, Helena Walker, she's a biologist, and... She, uh, at, when she discovers the prosoptodons, I think she starts to realize, wait a minute, this, there's something not right about this place. And she'll, you know, she'll eventually discover what's actually going on. But uh, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't know that quite yet. Or, or now she's starting to suspect it, though. Okay, let's kill this alpha here because we got, uh... oh, shit, that's a 70. That's not the same one. Okay. Well, let's see how we do. Thank you, Dilophosaur. We appreciate that. Not. Hmm, 70 is a bit much for us. We'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, we can always fly away if we start to get hurt really bad. And of course, the bugs decide to attack, too. If we can eat some of those, we'll get the healing buff. There we go. This is one of those raptors where it's really hard to tell how bloody they're getting. I think it's getting bloody. This sucker should give us some high points. Man, my finger's already getting tired from pressing the mouse button nonstop. Yeah, it's getting bloody. Look at that little baby saber tooth off to the right. You guys might not be able to see it. Saber tooths are alright, but I much prefer wolves um, or even better thylacoleos. Got him. Alright, cool. So. How many levels did we get? 26 levels. And we got a. Is that better than what we have? This hatchet is... Wait a second. Oh, yeah, 162. Nope, this this one's just slightly better, but that's still a really good hatchet. We've got a Mastercraft bow for 186. That's not bad. 
Uh, but the important thing is the level's so cool. All right, what we're going to do is, since we got all these levels, let's get the stamina to 2,000. Let's get the health to 3,000. And then everything else from here on out will probably just go straight into melee for this bird. Get out of here. Okay. Well, what we should do now is go find that level 50 alpha because we still have the, the buff. Um, we do need to heal a little bit, though. They, they sure have made babies tough. I mean, you can, certainly can kill them, but... Yeah. Let's eat a couple things just to get the health back. You know what, though? Man, if I fight that tr Triceratops, uh, we're going to take more damage because Triceratops are no joke, man. They hurt these days. If I can pick this D Dillo up, we can... There we go. Kill it and eat it. Can we pick babies up? We can! Oh my goodness! Wow! Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, who got a level? Me? I got a, Oh, wow, I got three levels. Okay, I'm pumping melee. Okay, we got that one to 150. I'm pretty good with our fortitude. We don't need weight because of the o OP stacking mod, so... Uh, let's just go for health. Why the hell not? Actually, I should probably put some points in oxygen for... for when we start doing stuff in the water. Okay, let's go. Let's go kill this parasaur, and then we're gonna. We need to get going after that other raptor pretty quick because our buffs are wearing out. Little baby dodo. We'll pick a couple of those up for egg production. Uh, one of the things we'll do, of course, is have um, animals, uh, at least a pair, and probably multiple females and one male of each type of egg that we need for kibble. So that is part of the plan. All right, I think we're healed up pretty good now. Let's see if we can find that level 50. It was down here last time we saw it. Get a little more healing going. Oh, wow, here's drop. Let's go check the drop out real quick. take those and we'll take this I guess I don't really want to rest that stuff though well you know what maybe the ladder not that that's hard to make okay okay we have 138 seconds left where is that oh, here he is oh man I hope that theory doesn't get involved Good. I killed the raptor, so we get the health buff. We must be getting headshots, because most of our hits are 211 damage with an occasional 70. Hi, Auburn Raptor. There goes a little baby raptor there. What level are you, man? You're level 80. Eh, nah. If it was like 100 or higher, I'd, I'd take it. But Oh, let's grab poop, too, because we need it for the compost bin. Of course, once we get the theomians, then we won't need to worry about that. We could get dung beetles, too. Um. All right, so four more levels. And all of that goes into melee damage. 
We got an apprentice bow. Looks like that's all we got out of the deal. Okay. But more importantly, we got the levels, so. All right, well, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I guess let's... Let's fly up. Oh, there's a Fiomi right there. Okay, there's our first pooper. We'll get, I don't know, a couple of them maybe. Oh, and you're level 100. That's even better. And basically what you do is you give them a little bit of health, but you really just want to level the food on them. And then if you guys didn't know this, you force feed them stem berries and they just a shitstorm, literally. <laughs> That's the whole idea. There's a Rex. What level are you? Level 15. Nah. I probably will ignore anything less than 140. Um, because we'll be getting... My plan is to, uh, to breed Rexes and... Therizinos, or maybe we might even just do Therizinos, because I'll bet Therizinos can tear Mega Pick if it's a new one, too. I don't know. We'll see. It's Raptor over there. Messing with that Stego. You're on passive, right? Okay. All right. Let's just use Trank Arrows on this guy. We'll save the darts. Or gal, I should say. Uh, do we get hedge headshots on Fiomia? We get 35 if we shoot her in the butt. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, definitely. 105 in the head. She'll go down pretty quick, though. Didn't quite get the head there. You have to... And she's down. All right. We'll throw some mayo berries in her. She'll stand up and start pooping for us. That's a decent level, too. Um... These guys tame pretty quickly, too. Because they just like to eat. They are pigs, after all. Or the ancestors of pigs, I guess. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because it's dark. Um, how much time do we have? Yeah, because it's dark, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to go look for another Fiomia. Um, or three. And then when uh, daylight comes, I will meet you guys up at the let's see here where's it at up here uh, there's beavers up here and we'll see if we can nab ourselves a decent level um castoroids all right guys um it's still nighttime as you can see but i flew up the river or to the east i should say and uh this is where we are and there there are also beavers around here when i got here there was a low level beaver that was killed by a spino um, you're passive, right? Passive, yeah. Um, so I'm going to jack this nest and see if it pulls any more beavers to us. Uh, not seeing any in the water, so let's get rid of that. And then see if that gets anybody's attention. No, guess not. Guess we could take a look at this green drop. Gotta be careful though, there's a couple of fairies around here. You stay put. Uh, we'll take the carrots for sure. The rest of that stuff I don't care about. that in 
your inventory. There's Fiomia. I see a couple. Level 45, good enough for me. Okay, I'm going to take this back to the base, get it tamed up, and then I'll meet you guys uh, at the Hidden Lagoon in just a little bit. All right, guys. Um, I'm back at the base here, uh, just finishing getting all the poop taken care of. So I have all of the compost bins uh, full of poop with some thatch to make fertilizer. And um, we need a couple more pieces. So basically all you do is put stem berries in these guys and you start feeding them and they start pooping. <laughs> I like that. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's see, pick up all nearby. Oh, F, there we go. And we'll just put straight up, look at that, perfect. Straight up poop in the crop plots until the fertilizer, you know, uh, is ready. It takes a while for it to, to convert into fertilizer. Uh, what's the matter with us? We're thirsty. Okay, and the the plots are, they're already irrigated because these cisterns function the same as an intake. So it put, basically puts the dome around. And if we show a range... Uh, wait, what? Show range. Yeah, there it is. So anything within that range is automatically irrigated by by these. So they work exactly like the, the cistern does. Uh, okay, so let's just grab one of each of the vegetable seeds. Get those planted and then we'll be well on our way to a little garden. Eventually, I will make this um, into a greenhouse, but... I don't quite have the resources for that yet, so we'll just let it grow outside. It'll take longer, but that's okay. At least, whoops, yeah, at least we'll get started. Um, we can actually put one more poop in each one of those, so we need four more poops, dude. There we go. I think he gave us five. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. And even without, you know, doing the stem berries on these guys, they'll still poop very frequently. So if you have any kind of a poop collecting device, then just get yourself a couple of Fiomias and you'll have more poop than you'll know what to do with. Um, the vanilla solution to that, of course, is to get a dung beetle, which we might do later on. We'll see how things go. Uh, this got some damage. We need to fix that. We need some stone and wood. We'll eventually change all that over to metal that should be enough hopefully uh, repair yeah that must have um, I think something came in earlier and attacked and it must have taken some damage there seriously dude get out of here Get out of here. Okay, I'll meet you guys up at the lagoon, and we'll see if we can find ourselves a beaver. There is one of the big, biggest pains in the ass in this game, a Perlovia. Can we pick... I don't think we can pick them up, can we? If they uh, pounce, pounce on you from out of the ground, then they pull you off your mount. Oh, I I I saw a level 150 Uteranus in the uh, by the iceberg too, but of course there's no, nothing I can do about it. But uh, we may be wanting to get those for uh, for boss fights. Okay, this is the area, by the way, uh, at least in the on Ark Survival Evolved. This is where the Obvious would spawn in this area. They were really rare, so it could take you a long time to find any. The one that I saw was over by the icebergs. Uh, well, I should say by the glacier, not the icebergs. 
it's kind of a cruel of the devs to spawn the most helpless animal in the game in the most dangerous biome in the game. <laughs> they don't last very long when they when they spawn. We'll be getting going after a date on two. I think we can pick these up, can't we? Yeah, we can. Okay. I'm not going to get one right now, of course, but... I'm just looking uh, for Avis, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing it. Every time I'm coming into this area, I, I look around for him. And if we if we did find one, I would just kill it for the mutton right now because I can't tame it until we can get a hold of honey. Anyway, let's go ahead and fly over to the the hidden oasis or whatever the hell it's called. I have uh, set bases up here before in the past on survival evolved as many people have it's a really nice spot actually um, and they changed the lagoon too it's a lot it's a lot deeper than it used to be which is very interesting okay so there's a beaver dam there and there's a beaver is that a dead beaver or just a beaver sitting there? It's a level 80 female. Okay. Um, let's keep a hold of her for the moment. And see if we can get a... Okay, that's just a 15. I'd like to jack the nest too. That's the only nest I see here. Okay. So, oh, there's one. Oh, that's the same one. Okay, let's kill the 15. And then we'll we'll take the 80 home. Um, but let's let's get the nest first. right up next to it. Okay, we gotta be fast here. Get rid of the wood, take the stuff, jump on the bird quick. Get in the air. Oh nice, we have a blue drop. We might as well wait for that too. Okay, I just want to see if any other beavers come. I think it's just those two. Man, there used to be a lot more beavers here. Come for me. Okay, which one are you? You're the 15. Okay. You get to go to Beaver Heaven. Okay, so our beaver friend is still irritated with us. But here's a little trick that used to work in Evolved. If you fly high enough up into the air to, uh, to get out of render range, and what if we can fly up through the holder? Uh, then they'll de aggro on you. At least that's the way Evolved worked. Can we go all the way up to this hole? That's crazy. We fly right off into space with our Argentavis. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> we did go through the hole. Oh my goodness. How funny. Is it still there? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. Um, we should hit that yellow drop, too. And uh, Yeah, let's... I think the yellow drop's gonna actually touch down first, and it's potentially gonna have better loot anyway. 
Let's go grab that, and then we'll hit the blue drop, and then we'll grab our beaver. I didn't think it was going to let me fly through it. I, I, I figured we'd run into, like, the barrier. Let's kill this guy. Nice Megalodon saddle and uh, some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, lanternfish gel. Can't, I can't, my, my mind's drawing a blank. Look at the clouds, that's cool. Uh, dang, a angler gel, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, that'll come in handy. And we got some shadow steak saute. We might get a Megalodon, we'll see. Um, my favorite and most other people's favorite sea animal any anymore these days is the Basilosaur, because it's about the only one that can resist the frickin' um, eels and jellyfish. I really feel like Wildcard seriously broke the ocean when they added those creatures. Okay. Uh, I need you to land. Uh, that's pretty lame. Guess we'll take the harpoons. That is really lame, actually. You know what, though? I mean... To make the... Harpoon darts... They do require the spear bolts, so... Yeah, that could be that could be handy, I suppose. All right. Anyway, um, our beaver's in the water. It shouldn't be angry with us anymore. Let's land and see what happens. It's just kind of over there chillaxing, I think. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Are you still angry with us? Shouldn't be. Here, I'll just show you what it looks like in this lagoon now. See, it's a, it's a lot deeper than it used to be. There might be some piranha in here, too. We could have picked it up, but I wanted it to de-aggro. Otherwise, it's going to bite us all the way back. And beavers have sharp teeth, in case you guys didn't know that. There it is. I lost it for a bit. I couldn't find figure out where it went. Okay. Let's get full stamina. And we're taking you home, girl. Taking you home. We might try and get ourselves a Tapahara at some point because they're the only flying mount on the island that you can shoot from the back of that I'm aware of. Well, except for Quetzals, of course. A Reno salad saddle? Really? Dip Diplodocus saddle? Uh, worthless. I mean, who the hell uses that shit? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Why couldn't you give us like an Ascendant Rex saddle blueprint? So that to be expensive, but we're going to need it for boss fights. I'll take them and then we'll just grind them down when we get the grinder set up. This, this must be new. I don't ever remember there being a little pond on the side of the mountain here. Doesn't even really show up on the map. That's cool. I've pretty much been all uh, over every square inch of the island on Survival Evolved, and I n never remembered a little pond here. It's really cool. All right, neat. Nice new little feature there. 
What in the hell is that? Those are all unks. I have never seen that before. There's like a whole flock of onyx. That's got to be a bug of some sort. <laughs> what in the world, man? I hope they stay up there. Wow, that is bizarre. That is so weird. I mean, those don't, things don't even, you know, don't, they don't come out of caves anyways, as far as I know. Those are cave creatures. Bizarre. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to need to... I'm a little concerned about those guys. Hope they stay up there. We're not going to go mess with them, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to need narcotic for the beaver because their torpor drops really quick. So let's get started here. We got 26 in the head. Let's see what we get in the butt. 26. Okay, so it doesn't look like they have a head multiplier thingy. Okay, the beaver stamp. Took uh, 10 shots for a level 80. I have no kibble yet, so all of our herbivore tames are mayo berries. Uh, let's grab a little bit of narcotic, too. Um, actually, you know what? I've got uh, some biotoxin that I got on the way over here on the raft. That uh, That's about... Tw oh, excuse me. About twice the potency of narcotic. Okay, so about 7.2% per bite. And we're probably going to... We didn't lose any taming effectiveness off the first bite. So, I'm guessing, I, I didn't look this up on Dota Dex. Um, in fact, I should just look it up on Dota Dex, huh? But probably going to lose maybe two levels. So, she'll probably stand up at about 37, with 37 bonus levels. So, 107. Uh, no, 117, rather. But, yeah, you can see how quickly her torpor is dropping compared to her taming. Um... See, it goes down really fast. So let's give her some of this. We'll give her that much. That should get her back up quite a bit. This is actually relatively easy to get um, in the early game. You just go off the shore, find a jellyfish, lure it to you, and then kill it with a crossbow. But don't don't let it touch you, though, <laughs> obviously. Um it's very powerful stuff. And then, of course, later on, we'll use it for the shocking trank darts. Okay, so yeah, she uh, she only lost one-tenth of a percent with two bites, and she's already 14%. So, I don't know. We might only lose one level. We'll have to see. All right. Uh, we actually got all 39 levels from that. Um, that's really good. Uh, so let's see, you're a female beaver, so what are we going to call you? We're going to call you Toothy. With all the love in our heart. <laughs> all right, cool. So 119 levels. Very nice. Let's grab all of that back out of you, and you just stay passive for the moment. We'll go get our... Uh, let's... Let's pick you up and we'll we got a saddle made for you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, obtained all of our main utility dinos. We've got a rock or a stone gatherer, a metal gatherer, 
and a wood gatherer. All right, cool. Uh, these uh, these little redwood trees here, you get a lot of wood out of these things, man. Crazy amount of wood. You have over 2,000 wood. The tree's still standing. Oh my god. That's just insane. I mean, I was getting a lot of wood when I was, you know, chopping them by hand, too. Um, But look. <laughs> great. Okay, so, yeah, for you... Gosh, we'll probably, we'll probably give you... Let's get your health up to, say, 3,000, and then I think just melee damage. I mean, that's just crazy. <laughs> so, anyway... Uh, also, you may notice on my toolbar that I now have a Mastercraft pick. Um, a, there was an Alpha Raptor just right down by the river there. It was like, actually it was pretty low levels, like, I don't know, 10 or 15. And I just went down and killed it, and I forgot to start the recorder. Uh, but uh, I got the Mastercraft picks, which is a really nice pick. It's almost, uh, it's 191 damage. So, yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Um... Not sure what we're gonna do in the next episode. We really, we might see if we can go get go after a bee because we need to get um, honey going in order to make the veggie cakes. And then once we get the veggie cakes, then we can go get uh, and tame some avas, which I really want to do. Um, and I'm still kind of debating whether or not we're gonna stay in this location permanently or maybe move, you know, back to the uh, southwestern end of the redwoods in that you know where that pond is it's just so pretty over there so i haven't i haven't decided yet i'm still kind of pondering it and by the way i've recorded several of these episodes back to back so i haven't seen anybody's comments um since well even since i started on this server so if you have mentioned anything about that i just haven't seen it yet uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.